Hello, and thank you for joining me for our daily inspirations. Today, I'm going to be talking to you about something that inspired me greatly. While sitting there pondering what we should talk about in our inspirations, I began to wonder, what are something that you guys would want to know about? What is something that would add value to your life? What is something that would inspire you to inspire others to make a change in the world? And I thought, and I thought, and I wasn't really sure, and I prayed a little, and I thought about it, and thought, my gosh, I'm, I'm trying to find some sort of inspiration. And I was having a really hard time. Um, and then all of a sudden, things started to kind of change. And I started getting a little bit more focused. And some things were coming at me via emails and things that kind of dried, drove home the importance of this one particular thing. And the important thing that I want to talk to you about today is the importance of wearing a face mask. This is something that I don't know if you have all noticed, but we all have to go out and about in public to get essential items. And, you know, now there are lessening restrictions and things for being out, so people are traveling about more and more. Well, while I was on my trip to the grocery store, I noticed that there were a lot of people not wearing face masks. And I thought to myself, well, I'm wearing a face mask. Why aren't other people wearing face masks? And I get it. I understand. You know, it's a choice. It's a matter of, you know, exercising some of your freedoms. Hey, I'm not going to wear a mask. I'm going to take that risk. Well, for me personally, I want to take the precaution because it's important for me. It's important for my family. It's important for the people that I come in contact with every day. So I take my mask and I wear my mask proudly because I want to make sure that I know I'm doing all that I can. During these difficult times, there are so many things that we do not have control over. The one thing I do have control over is I can control my actions. One of my actions that I can control is the use of hand sanitizer and washing my hands and maintaining proper hand washing. Another thing I can do is I can wear my mask every time I go out in public. This is super, super important make sure that we are wearing our masks and that we're doing it properly. We want to make sure that we are taking our mask and that we are applying it only using the ear loops. We want to make sure that we're securing it properly and that we're not touching our face while we're wearing it. And then we want to make sure that we're taking it off properly and we're washing it via machine washing, or if it's disposable, that we're disposing it. I'm going to do a little video that I'm going to attach to this that will have the proper way to put on a face mask and a proper way to remove it and dispose of it. I hope that you find it inspiring as well. But I did want to talk about another reason why it's important to wear a face mask. It's not just to protect you, but it's to protect the people around you. You may be carrying the virus for COVID-19 and not even know it. I would hate to think that I got someone else sick because I was not taking the proper precautions. I would hate for one of my family members, my children, my father to be sick. My father's among those in the highest risk category. He has lung conditions, health conditions such as diabetes. Um, he also has breathing problems. So for him going out in public and not wearing a face mask is taking a, a risk, not just a risk like everyone else, but a greater risk. And his chance if he did get sick and recovering are a lot smaller than others. So making sure that he's wearing a face mask, that he has face masks, um, <clears throat> is very important. It's very near and dear to my heart. So I hope that as you go about your day, you're making sure that when you're out in public, you're wearing your face mask. I know they're hot. I know they're itchy. I know that you know they you can't see other people smile when they have them on and you're not really sure what their mood is you may not recognize them um, I know that if you have hearing difficulties it can be a real challenge if you have a hearing difficulty and you rely on reading lips for communication then it's double hard when you can't see someone's mouth because of a face mask so you need to make sure that if you're around people that you know have a difficulty and they're wearing face masks and you're wearing face masks, increase your inflection in your voice. Make sure that you're addressing them and that you're reaching out to them and trying to make sure that you're effectively communicating them. 
That's with making sure you're facing each other, making sure that you're making eye contact and things like that. Also, there are people that might have vision difficulty. So you maintaining that six foot distancing rule, that's very important, but understand that when someone may get a little too close to you, maybe they have a vision difficulty and you need to just remind them, hey, just hold up that universal sign like, hey, stop, wait, we need to, we need to maintain our distance from each other. It doesn't mean that you don't care, but I know that one of the things, I'm a huge hugger, I love hugging people. So one of my things that I've really been doing a lot is I've been making hearts, because that's my way of saying, hey, I love you. Hey, I care about you, and I'm giving you a virtual hug. So this is my virtual hug from me to you. I hope you've enjoyed this and found it inspiring. Thanks. Hi guys, this is Crystal Evans, Activity Coordinator at Shelby Senior Services. And today I wanna to talk to you about the importance of wearing a proper face mask. First of all, you're gonna to wanna to take your hand sanitizer and you're gonna to wanna to sanitize your hands. Okay, make sure they're good and sanitized. Second, you're gonna to wanna to pick up your mask. You need to make sure that you're picking up your face mask by the ear loops at all times because this needs to be sterile, okay? So you're gonna take your face mask and you're gonna put the loops over your ears. The important thing to remember is your hands are never touching the center of your mask, okay? Because that is the part that needs to be the most sterile because that is the part where you're gonna be breathing through, okay? You're going to make sure that you're wearing a mask properly, not just for yourself and your own protection, but so that you can protect your loved ones as well. So you're gonna take this and you're gonna put it over your ear loops and then I'm gonna show you how it fits properly. All right, so you're gonna apply it to your face, loops over your ears. You're gonna make sure you get a nice snug fit, okay? And you're gonna to wanna to make sure that you, if you have a, like a little wire in there that you kind of form it to your nose, form it down to your chin, make sure that it's nice and sealed. You want a nice sealed area, okay? Because that's important. You don't want to have a lot of loose, empty space. Sometimes you have to take these little ear straps and kind of tighten them a little bit. It depends on the mask, okay? They're not all created equal. But when you go to remove it, you're going to need to make sure that you remove the mask by the ear loops. If you have a cloth mask, you're gonna wanna make sure that you wash it after each use. The importance of that is because you want these to be sterile. If you have a paper mask, I'll demonstrate a paper mask. Here's a paper mask. Okay, so you're gonna take it, you're gonna make sure that you loop it over your ears, pull it down, Make sure that you secure it. Make sure that you don't have too much of a gap. And voila. Some of them fit a little bit differently. Now, if you have a disposable mask, you're gonna want to discard it in a proper receptacle, okay? Once you get done, you're gonna wanna make sure that you clean your hands again as well, okay? So you're gonna add that hand sanitizer, you're gonna sterilize your hands, and you're good to go. It's important to make sure that you're properly wearing your face mask, mask not only for your safety, but the safety of others. Now I'm just gonna show you a couple different face masks that have been made for me um, and purchased by friends. I have all kinds of different ones. I have ones for um, when I'm feeling super happy, super sassy, um, and I've got all different shapes, sizes, makers, so that I can kind of have one for each day. So I hope you've enjoyed that. Thank you very much for joining me. Bye. Just remember everybody, we wear these face masks so that we can protect each other. I wear mine to protect me from infecting you and you are yours to protect you from infecting me. It's one of the simple things that we actually can do during these uncertain times to make sure that we all stay safe. So remember, 
wash your hands, wear your face mask when out in public, and maintain social distancing at all times. This is currently our new norm, and it's something that we'll be doing for quite some time until we can suddenly be to that place where we don't have to worry about that anymore. But for right now, this is what we've got going on. So I hope that you are inspired today. I hope that you are inspired to inspire others by setting an example and being an example. Take the precautions that are necessary to get us all healthy and keep us all safe. Take care for now. Bye.